Hello YouTubers, welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair, where my job was to save you money. I hope you're having a good day, good morning, today is a Friday, yay! It's uh, the weekend up on us, so I hope you guys have a, uh, good plans and you had a good week. Anyhow, this morning I'm going to show you how to replace or remove the water pump on a 1996 Chevy Silverado 3500 with a 7.4 V8 engine two-wheel drive so the first step that you're going to need is going to remove the top part of the shroud for the fan so here you can see you have a electrical wire a cable goes here we're going to move it out of the way uh, we're going to need a 10 millimeter socket an extension this is a swivel so you can use a regular socket or just a swivel I'm gonna use this tool, Milwaukee. I'm not getting a sponsor by this company, so just a quick disclaimer there. So we're gonna go here. One, two, and that one is already broken, so I don't need to remove it. So we're gonna put a big washer here so it can just put pressure there the way it's supposed to now here you will see you're gonna have two on each side over there on the driver's side and the passenger side two more uh, bolts to remove and that is the reason I have here this extension so I can reach there easy okay so hopefully you guys can see there driver's side we're going to do the same thing I'm not going to move the camera for this one <sighs> there you go all the bolts here around are the same length 10 millimeter bolt so you don't have to worry about maybe you know separating them or anything like that because it will be you can get them. Okay, this one here. Now you can put this on the side. The next thing that we need to do going to remove the belt by using a 3 8 ratchet okay to put it right here and release the, the tension but we're going to do before that we're going to go ahead and use 13 millimeter or you can also use a half an inch okay range to loosen up those uh, nuts there for the fan clutch Give me a second. Hopefully you guys can see. You can hold one hand the water pump here and if he's still spinning on you, use a screwdriver, put it right between the bolts. That usually hold it nicely and you can remove it. Just watch your hand, make sure you, your wrench is nice all the way. So that way don't slip and cut you your hand with the with the blade okay so just be mindful take care of your body take care of yourself and of course this one can remove actually three of them right here Let's put it right there.
Now this one, okay, because the studs on the water pump, they're pretty long, so I can actually remove all the bolts, the nuts, I mean. That was the four one. And I can remove the fan before removing the belt. And this one, that's okay. So again, usually it's recommended just remove the tension first. But again, I already go, go ahead and did it. The next thing I'm going to be, you're gonna have the, the hose clamp. One, two, and you're gonna have a 14 millimeter bolt, two on each side, or 916 works too. So use whatever you you have to make sure you remove the, uh, the pump. I gotta go and get a, uh, the ratchet here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go there push down the bell release and before you do this make sure you if you don't have it already take a picture of the diagram how the the bell route is going to go so that way you don't have to be if you've never done it before and you don't know how the bell goes it might take you a little while to figure it out but I'm sure you guys will be okay but just keep that in mind that you need to you need to know that it's a good practice regardless also it's a good practice to spin the variance here to make sure look for any noise so far this variance are good and there's the pulley. Perfect. So this is leaking coolant from the bottom hole, drain hole from the water pump. Okay, so that is the reason we are removing this. Now we are going to loose up here the clamp. And I'm gonna let uh, the coolant drain look like this I'm gonna have to put a new clamp this clamp is not it's not good yep I gotta use something different. Let me see. Let me let me be a little bit patient here. See if I can actually take it off all the way. I think I will. going to change this hose clamp now with the screwdriver you can actually come between the, the hose and the pump so that I can break loose this all right so I'm gonna bring some pliers. Okay, let's see if this ones are big enough. 
channel locks here. Yeah. moving there it is. Right, the trick here is not to squeeze too hard if you squeeze too hard well you kind of hold in the there it is. All right, guys. So you, I use this, press down from here, and the hose come off. Now we're gonna use ratchet. Make sure you break loose this hose because now you can twist here. I mean, you can pull up, I guess, and just be mindful. Don't let the water pump draw because it will put a hole on the radiator. So that's one of the things. You have to be mindful here. So I guess it's not all the way loose just yet. Broken loose. There you go. Oof. So this is how you remove the water pump on a Chevy. You need to do it with a V8, usually is the same, a very similar. The next thing you have to grab a razor blade, remove the old gasket left, the might be uh, on the block. And a good practice, something that I that I do, because I gotta do something else before I start putting the other pump. I need to uh, Grab the pump, the new pump, and put you know silicone and attach the gasket, let it sit for a while. So that way when you put the pump back with the gasket, the gasket they're not moving. Anyhow, well I hope you liked the video if you found value here at any point. Uh, give it a thumb up, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will highly appreciate it. Now to put everything back, you should just put everything in reverse order and you should be good. All right, guys, as usual, God bless. Do your best, forget the rest, and I see you in the next video. Later.